Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to search for nearby business using Google Maps API in Python. Before we dive into the tutorial, make sure that you have a Google Cloud Platform account created. And you also need to create a Google Cloud project. In this video, I'm using my Google Cloud demo project. Now I want to dive into the documentation first. Just in case if you want to reference the uh, parameters or the document information, then you will know how to navigate to the information. Right, so the API we'll be using is called Nearby Search Requests. And I'll post a link in the description below. And this API is found under the uh, Google Play Search API. I want to scroll down to the API itself. Right, so let's take a look at the required parameters. So I'll be using Google Maps API library and the nearby method requires location and radius. For the radius, which is the distance, we need to provide the distance in meters. And for the location, we need to provide the latitude and longitude uh, coordinates. Now let's look at the optional parameters. So for the optional parameters, keyword is probably the one that you're going to use the most. We can also specify the language, the minimum and maximum price. So I've never used this one before, but I'm going to assume that you can uh, specify the uh, price range. I sense the dollar sign. If you already know the business name, then you can uh, use the name parameter to search for the business. Open now indicating that whether or not if the business is opening right now. And we have the uh, rank by parameter and the type parameter. So for each business, Google Maps engine actually uh, categorize each business based on the business operation. So for each API request, the request will return up to 20 uh, results. If there are additional batches of results that we need to retrieve, then we need to provide the next page token. And that's basically everything I want to cover in terms of the uh, documentation. Now let's go to the uh, Google Cloud Platform Console. So first thing first, I need to enable the uh, API. So what you want to do is you want to go to the navigation menu, APIs and services, oops. Let me go back. I want to click on library. In the search field, I want to search for places. I want to enable the places API. So just make sure that places API is enabled for your project. You also need to download your API key. If you don't know where to download your API key, you want to go to APIs and services, credentials. On the top, you can click on create credentials and click on API key and that will generate a new set of API key. And I already created mine, so I can just click on this clipboard icon to copy my API key somewhere to a notepad or to a JSON file. So that's all the preparation works that we need to do in terms of uh, in Google Cloud Platform Console. Now open a blank Python script. So here I'm going to import my uh, Google Maps API library first. So the library name is called Google Maps. If you don't have the library installed, you can install the library using the command pip install Google Maps. I also want to export the uh, results to an Excel file. And to do that, I'm going to use the pandas library. And this one is going to be pip install pandas. So let me show you the results set. All right, so this is what uh, the Excel file looks like once we export uh, the information. So if we look at the Excel spreadsheet, we actually have a lot more information than uh, the usual uh, Google Maps uh, engine or Google Maps website. So using the Google Maps API, we'll be able to extract a lot more information to perform any types of analysis or to search for business based on different criteria. So here we have the uh, business name, uh, the business icon, and geometry is basically the uh, business location coordinate. 
Oh, and here we have business status. Would have like the uh, business is operational or closed temporary or permanent. And here's the uh, business name. Uh, these are the hyperlinks to uh, access the photos. And many other fields, which I'll let you to uh, navigate on your own. All right, so here let's go back to our Python script. So here I want to create a function to convert a miles to meters. I'm going to name this function miles to meter. And for the parameter name, I'm going to name that mile. Actually, let's do miles. And the function is really straightforward. So to convert miles to meters, actually, this should be pro. We can simply times the uh, miles to one point, actually 1609 dot 344. So this is the uh, formula to convert miles to meter. If we run into any error, I want to return zero and that's it. Next, I want to input my API key. I will store my API key in a text file. So I'm going to open the text file. Dot read. And once I have the API key, I can create my Google Maps instance. So I'm name the instance map client. It equals to Google Maps dot client. I need to provide my API key. All right. So if I run uh, this code block. And if I print the uh, members of map client, so here are some of the uh, APIs that we can use. And here's the places API. Now I want to create my location variable. And because I need to provide the location in corners. So here I'm going to click anywhere on my Google Maps. And right click. And here's the uh, corner. So I'm going to copy the corner. And I'll assign the corner to my location variable. And we need to uh, pass this as a tuple. The next variable I want to create is the search string. And this is basically the, uh, the keyword that you want to use to search for a business. And let's say I want to search for all the ramen shops in San Francisco or in the Bay Area. And I want to set my distance to 15 miles. So from miles to meters function, I'm going to enter 15. And here I'm going to create an empty list. I'll name this list business list. Now I'm going to insert the map client object that places nearby. So this is the API name. Inside the places nearby method, we need to provide the location. And the keyword is going to be for the uh, keyword parameter. And it's coming from the search string variable. If you didn't know the business name, then you can use the name parameter instead of the uh, keyword parameter. So let's say I want to search for a business called ramen shop. And this is going to be radius, which is my distance. And I'll name the output as response. And here I'm going to append the records to my business list object. So I'm going to use the extend method. And from response, that gets. Here let me uh, run this code block first. Location is not fine. Oh, here I have a typo. Should be location. Let me try again. Now if I print the response object, and we print the keys first. So here we have three keys, HTML attribution, next page token. Status means that whether or not the API code is successful. And the results key is going to return the uh, business uh, items. And this will be response. 
since I see the next page token key is available, then I know uh, the additional information that I need to retrieve. So here I'm going to create my next page token variable. So from response that gets, I'll pass the next page token key. And I'll create my next page token variable here. Oh, and the, this one too. All right, so here I'm going to insert a while loop. I'm going to say that while next page token is now none, here I forgot to input one more module. I'll input the time module. I noticed that every time when I make the next API request uh, too fast, for some reason I'm going to get duplicate records. So here I'm going to delay the next batch execution by two seconds. Then I'll actually I'll grab uh, this code block. And here I'm going to provide the next page token to the page token parameter. And I'll copy these two lines. And I'll paste this over. Once I retrieve all the business data, I can create my data frame object. So from PD data frame, I'll pass the business list object. I also want to create a new uh, column. I'll name the column URL. And here let me uh, paste the let me paste the code over. So basically I want to create a hyperlink to allows me to automatically click on the link to open the uh, business page. So here's the uh, website or the base URL followed by the place ID. So if we go back to the Excel spreadsheet, one of the column is the place ID. So this is basically the uh, unique ID assigned to uh, each business. Right now, let's finish the, the script. So here I want to export uh, the result set to an Excel spreadsheet. And I'll name the Excel spreadsheet business. Actually, let's do ramen shop list dot Excel SX. And I'm going to ignore the index. And that's it. Where I'm going to terminate the session, I'm going to press F5 to run script. And looks like the file is created. So here, let me go back to my project folder. And here's the ramen shop list Excel file. Now, if I open the file, and here's the business URL. So let's say if I want to look at one of the highest rating uh, ramen shop. So here we have uh, these two ramen bars. So I can simply click on the URL and that will open the uh, page on Google Maps. It will take me directly to the uh, business page. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, see you guys watching. I will see you guys on the next video.